So, with just a few days left in office as the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Akufuado isn't just slowing down. In fact, he is sprinting to the finish line. In the past month alone, he is commissioned five historic projects that are reshaping Ghana's future. Let's dive in starting with the first game changer, and that is the Ghana Bridge Power Project. On November 19th, President Akufuado flipped the switch on the Ghana Bridge Power Project, a jaw-dropping 1.2 billion investment. It's already delivering 200 megawatts of energy, and soon it will scale up to an impressive 515 megawatts. This isn't just about keeping the light on, it's about empowering factories and ensuring that hospitals never have to worry about outages. The days of Doomsaw they are history. The bridge power project is more than just energy solution. It's the spark driving Ghana's growth and industrialization. These partners have been instrumental in enhancing our power capacity. My administration is committed to addressing social obligations impacting our ability to meet obligations to these valued partners. Together, we will build a sustainable, reliable energy future. Two is the bank square. The very next day, November 20th, another masterpiece was unveiled, the bank square. This is the new headquarters of the Bank of Ghana, Ghana's central bank. This isn't just a building, it is a bold statement of Ghana's financial resilience, designed with cutting-edge innovation and eco-friendly technologies. The bank square is a shining symbol of Ghana's ready to lead the global economy. With the economy bouncing back stronger than ever, this project reflects a nation poise for greatness. Kudos to the governor of Bank of Ghana, Ernest Addison, and Good Keys Properties for making this vision a reality. Let the Bank Square remind us of the importance of sound governance, visionary leadership, and unwavering commitment to the well-being of all Ghanaians. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my singular honor and privilege to declare the Bank Square officially commissioned as the new headquarters of the Bank of Ghana. <laughs> Project Frey is flower pot interchange. Now, let's talk about rules. On November 19th, President Anaku Fuado also commissioned the flower pot interchange. This beauty is a game changer for Accra's commuters. Built by China Railway No. 5 Engineering Ghana Limited, this 147 million Ghana cities project is more than just a road, it is a lifeline, connecting northern and southern parts of the Accra to Tema motorway. It's making life easier for people in cantonments, Bema Camp, East Legon, Spinters, and Tema. This isn't just infrastructure, it is a progress in motion. Project 4 is commissioning of 80 educational projects. November 21st was all about education. President Ekufuado commissioned 80 educational projects across the beautiful country, from rural village to bustling towns. These projects are transforming the future for Ghanaian children. Libraries, science labs are giving kids the tools they need to succeed. Because education isn't just about learning, it is about dreaming big. Project 5 is Ghana's Railway Reviver. And finally, on November 22nd, Ghana's railway system got a massive upgrade. President Akufuado unveiled a revitalized railway network along with two brand new state of the art trains. Faster, safer, and more efficient. These trains are set to transform transportation for people and businesses alike. Of what is possible when vision, commitment, and hard work align. As president, I pledge to prioritize the revival and expansion of Ghana and today we take another giant leap forward in fulfilling that promise. Ladies and gentlemen, 2017, the Kufuado government has placed railway development at the forefront of its agenda recognizing it is a powerful catalyst for industrialization, trade facilitation, and socioeconomic transformation. 
Railways are acknowledged globally as the most efficient mode for transporting bulk goods and large numbers of people. They are a linchpin for reducing the cost of doing business and fostering regional integration. This conviction led to the establishment of the Ministry of Railways Development in 2017, tasked with the singular mission of designing and executing policies and programs to build a modern railway system. Over the past seven and a half years, we've made substantial progress in reviving Ghana's railway infrastructure. Let me highlight some key achievements. One, the Western Line Rehabilitation. In 2017, we successfully rehabilitated the 66-kilometer narrow-gauge section of the Western Line from Kujokrum to Takwa to enhance manganese haulage. Two, standards-gauge development. In 2018, we initiated the construction of a 22-kilometer standard-gauge section between Kujokrum and Mansour. This marked the beginning of our trans transition to a modern railway system. Three, further extensions. In 2020, we secured funding to extend the Western Rail Line from Mansour to Huni Valley, covering 78 kilometers and linking directly to the port of Takradi. This will provide seamless connectivity for the transportations of minerals, bulk cargo, and other goods. And four, the Kumasi Rail Network. We're financing the development of a six kilometer standard gauge line in Kumasi from Edum to Kasi, expanding further the Western Line's capacity. Today, however, we gather to celebrate the completion of the Teman Pakadai railway line, a vital component of Ghana's first multimodal transport system. Ladies and gentlemen, this 100 kilometer railway line complements a visionary transport system that integrates rail, road, and inland water transport, connecting Tamaport to Bupe Port via the Volta Lake. This project Conceived under the administration of His Excellency, President John Ajekun Kufo, is a good example of continuity in governance for national development. By reducing our reliance on road transport for long distance freight and passenger movement, this railway line will address several critical challenges that have hindered Ghana's development. It will decongest significantly our roads alleviating the heavy burden that has led to severe traffic congestion, the rapid deterioration of road infrastructure, and an alarming increase in road accidents. Furthermore, they will enhance the efficiency of port operations at Tema, minimizing vessel waiting times and container dwelling times, thereby boosting the competitiveness of our ports. The integration of rail and inland water transport will also transform trade and agriculture by lowering freight costs, increasing the viability of agricultural enterprises along the Volta Lake, and facilitating the seamless movement of goods and produce to and from northern Ghana and neighboring landlocked countries. This railway line, therefore, stands as a transformative intervention to address these pressing issues comprehensively. When fully operational, the multimodal network will link the Tema port to the north-south transport corridor, spanning some 400 kilometers. It will open new opportunities for the movement of fuel, cement, containerized cargo, and agricultural produce. The economic and social benefits of this project are far-reaching and transformative. By alleviating the pressure on our road network, it will extend the lifeline of critical routes, including those along the Eastern Corridor, 
while simultaneously lowering the cost of transporting bulk goods, agricultural produce, and containers, thereby enhancing business competitiveness. It will offer a reliable and cost-effective transportation alternative for, bus for passengers in areas currently underserved by road networks, ensuring greater accessibility and convenience. Moreover, the construction, operation, and maintenance of this railway line will generate significant direct and indirect employment opportunities, uplifting countless Ghanaian households. This project is far more than just a railway line. It is a lifeline that it will empower communities, invigorate businesses, and strengthen industries, ultimately making Ghana more resilient and prosperous. Five projects in just one month, from energy to education, roads to railways. This magic isn't just in the project. In fact, it is in the vision for a Ghana that is ready to lead. Let's keep building this momentum together. And that is all for today's episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Makrao.